Hello, my name is David Glenn, and uh, this is a tutorial on how to use uh, uh, Mika Mika Dance. Uh, I did one of these before, but uh, on a, ha a hangout that I did on uh, YouTube. Uh, however, um, I wasn't too happy about it. I kind of got long and windy on the subject, and so I thought I'd redo it and get into a more detailed version. Um, moving along. So, uh, get on with the lesson. What is MMD? Uh, or better known as Miko Mika Dance, or MMD was written back at around 2007 I would say I put down 2000 XX because I don't really know um, by Yui Hiroshi I think that's what his name is as he wrote it as freeware uh, it is used by hundreds if not thousands of fans in Japan and the world uh, who are fans of Hasume Miko who's a vocaloid singer, a virtual character. Uh, fans of vocaloids in general because there's more than just uh, Miko that's involved and uh, also uh, fans of the Sega game which is referred to as Project Diva which I think is where this um, uh, application got its inspiration. Uh, if you want, if you don't have MMD and wish to get it, the best place to get it is in the VP VP page. Uh, I'll show that to you. It's right here. Uh, it's called Vocaloid Promotion Video Project. Um, that's what they call it in the Japanese edition. This is the English edition. Uh, it has. Uh, a little bit of um, explains everything uh, about uh, the various versions of of the tool. Um, the two versions that you're probably be interested in, as I'm going to basically show you, involves this version here for 32-bit and this version here for 64-bit. Uh, there is also uh, two redistributors that you're going to need for the 64-bit, uh, mostly revolving around uh, Microsoft C, uh, Visual C uh, version 2008 and 2010. Uh, there is also a DirectX, which is no longer in use, but they tend to use because, I guess, in Japan that's what the majority of the programmers uh, use. There is also a um, uh, this is a driver for connects. One of the things that you could do with Miko Mika Dance is actually interface with the connects, which I won't get in in this lesson, but um, maybe in another lesson I'll uh, explain a little bit about this. Um, there is some videos in here. They are data, rather dated videos and audio based. Uh, they are good to follow also in addition to what I'm going to show you. Uh, what I'm going to show you is going to be in a very specific spot and um, not cover the whole gamut of what MMD can do. There's way way too much to uh, cover in just one video so this is going to be the first part uh, and introductory part for those uh, like I said it comes pre-rigged with a set of models that we can use that you can use I think it's like there's Miko and then there's a, another one called Maiko and um, a few a couple others which uh, their names escape me right off the bat. Uh, there are also other mother models that you can get from other artists that are out there who have written the models. Uh, a lot of the models that uh, are out there 
are uh, they they do have certain uh, like the models that you get with the thing there is also some uh, strings attached to it so you should be aware of uh, of, of those of those limitations um, also the uh, the package was originally written in Japanese I will show you uh, where to uh, well, I'll give you an idea where you can go in, and once you first start the program, there's a English switch that you can go in and um, switch it to English mode, which is far better to deal with, of course, than the Japanese mo mode, unless I happen to be speaking to somebody from Japan. Uh, so, move right along. Uh, as I said, today's lesson is basic model rigging motion. Uh, I'm going to take a, uh, I will show you uh, some functionality of the basic rigging in MMD. We will start simple by showing how to make Mako Waver Hand. Uh, I decided to use uh, Mako in this project uh, because, uh, as I'll explain a little later, uh, Mako is uh, one of the first Vocaloids produced by Krypton Future Ma Media that uses the uh, Vocaloid software, which was written, originally written by a company called Yamaha that's been making music since the beginning of time. They make music instruments, and this is just Vocaloids is just another uh, product of a vast amount of products that uh, Yamaha puts out. Uh, normally I would start uh, with a model called LAT. LAT by far is, MAT is basically a Mika Hatsume model. MAT is by far the easiest uh, rig model uh, in MMD to use. The problem I've had with people who have tried to use LAT for the first, as their very first model is uh, even though it has a lot of uh, rig handles on it that you can go in there and basically move things, move groups without having to do much, uh, you know, kicking around of the uh, bones and stuff. Uh, let to the beginner, I guess, looks intimidating, and I didn't realize that. And uh, I use lat in the first lesson, and a lot of people say, "Gosh, how do you get? How do you tell which one from the other?" And for all, furthermore, lat's written basically in Japanese, so you also have to have an understanding of kanji and kanji body parts, which the model today is. I'm going to show you. You don't have to deal with that. Uh, it's all written in English, so we will use. Um, uh, Mako, because the model I have rig right now, I found out today, also works very well in English. So we'll see how that goes. So let's spring up Miko Miko Dance. And Miko Miko Dance to the uninitiated is made up of this timeline. Each timeline has a channel which represents a bone, a bone or a control, and uh, they're also representative um, down here in uh, the bottom. You got uh, some basic manipulators here. You know, this one happens to be for the camera, which is what you get when you start off. There's light manipulation, there's accessory manipulation. Uh, there's v one that always appear. There's view. There's play. There's volume. There's a time. There, there's a volu volume file you can bring up here that you can go in later and um, and uh, sync the, the the voice to mouth movements. There are also other tools out there. Uh, uh, one I think is called uh, Lipstick, which uh, also does sync and creates a motion file that you can uh, import into Mika Mika Dance, which uh, is something to uh, look into. 
I've never successfully used it yet, but uh, uh, I hear it's easy to use, and uh, I have messed around with it. So, getting moving right along. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, well, one is, before I get started, I want to I show you one thing. Uh, right in here is right here. It says Japanese mo mode. I'm going to switch it, and right now everything that is is in in basic Japanese and of course you get the gibberish over here this is when you first saw, s start off the program chances are uh, you could wind up it could wind up looking like this if it does and you don't understand Japanese and if if you don't most of us don't so you know bear with us who, 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 do, who don't we have this little thing here that says English mode. You switch that, everything's readable. Great. So, let's move on. Let's start by loading a model. Our first model. I'm going to go down here and one I picked uh, that I thought was pretty good was this one here. This is, the, this is one of the Miko models that I have. Uh, I picked this because it's a very simple model and when I bring it up you'll find out why. It's, this is the people who wrote it and they was modeled by a person called K-I-O Kale and converted by Aloha. Okay. My Japanese is not very good. That's why we're doing things in English and I'm teaching you this in English. Okay, here's Miko, or Mako. Mako in her rig. These are the bones of the rig. Um, you will notice that when I bring this over, oh, by the way, to move uh, around in this world, you go on just uh, any other spot except for the rig itself. Um, you got this button that you can hit the right mouse button, go up and down, left and right. You got another one here. This is a zoom uh, icon. You can press that and you can zoom in and out. It's very much like uh, light wave, way, uh, light wave works. Um, you can also uh, do a left click and go around with a, with your camera. You can use your center um, mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out, and you can use in the right. Well, it doesn't have any function right now, but you have these keys here mess around. Okay, so let's continue. As you can see, we have a model. Uh, we got down here is the view controls. You can use the view of the front of the model. You just quickly switch to the back of the model, to the top of the model, and to the left, to the right, and from the camera view. And that is the basic movement there. I also showed you if you hit the right uh, mouse button you can go all around the model and then you can hit the left mouse button on the little arrows and go around and zoom. So let's start by the center bone, the one that's currently selected is the center bone. A lot of people now, now a lot of people when they uh, they teach you, oh yeah, if you press down on the center uh, mouse wheel, you can also go right, left, up, down. And then roll the wheel, you go 
in out helpful thing to know now right off the bat to the uninitiated this looks intimidating but trust me it's not uh, the easiest way to get a model to move uh, you got basically you got three uh, manipulation tools you got select which turns on your bone rig you got when you allows you to select a bone like so you got these little IK bones over here kind of also shown out here in the timeline we got left leg right leg won't get into that one of the things that people normally sh show you and I kinda get kinda irritated when they say okay we're gonna animate a mile here we go go over here go to bone and manipulation hit move you get a nice little arrow you go up she's flying down she's on the ground you go down she's jumping and you go up and there she's moving well her legs are going through her dress we could fix that by the way I'm gonna go over the one of the things I like to do go over here and say go to physical operation go to click on a thing that says anytime now the physics is on so now when you go down the dress now deforms You'll see the dress, the forms, and she will she'll bend her legs to a certain point. And this is lesson one. Okay, we've gone through lesson one. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> this is what most people cheat, you know, show show you is your very first lesson. And you do this, and you go click. You click on the timeline, and um, you register. You you, you 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 bring it up. You go register. You move the timeline, and of course, it usually stays up there. You bring it down. You do another register. By the way, you got to register anything movement you make. You got to register for every bone, and you got to make sure the bones are selected when you register the bones. Otherwise, you can pose a character and get it to look really cool. And you hit click to move the timeline; it'll disappear. Not a good thing, like so. And you're sitting there, Matt, yourself. So let's get back to basic business here. I'm going to go into here and uh, everything's back to normal. One of the first things I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to deal with the arms and there's two ways I could deal with this. I can go into here and select a, a tool this way and then go into rotate but after a while uh, I find it this is just my personal thing I go over here to where to the timeline where the arms at and I hit this thing and it expands and I got left shoulder right, uh, left arm right um, right you know, left left elbow uh, left wrist and uh, down over here, if you want to get down to the fingers, you got left thumb, right, you know, first, uh, first forefinger, so on, so on, so forth, all the way through the left, and then all the way through the right for all the hands. Not all that intimidating. Working at things from here gets a little intimidating when you when you stare at this. And going like, where's the joint? Uh, I gotta find the joint. Where is the joint? I gotta find it. Oh, it's here. I think I can click on it. Am I on the right joint? Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to get that joint. Okay, I got the right joint now. Uh, easiest thing to do is 
just follow the time, to expand the timeline. You know, one of the beauties of this thing is they shrink it down to something very simple and you just say, okay, arms, we show all the parts for the arms, you get the left arm and the right arm. And it's just, for me, at least, it's a little easier to con to uh, deal with the rig. You're not uh, dealing with it so much. The other thing is, is you know, when you do things like rotate. Rotate is, you know, uh, move is not so hard to deal with in any angle. But rotate is can be frustrating because whatever it is in relation to the camera right now it will rotate to that area you know, I'll go over here and I'll do the arm it will rotate in relation to your viewing plane what is referred to as the viewing plane what I have to do sometimes is I either have to get you know depending on what side I'm on I have to hit the right side and uh, like I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna move the arm and I just wanna uh, and I you see I move, went to front and I'm gonna take the arm and go just like that and I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna go over and uh, and then I'll go just one step below that okay I'm at the elbow now I'm gonna move the elbow well I can move it like this and now I'm bashing into her dress I'm colliding with the object uh, objects you know even though you have uh, the physical uh, the, the uh, bullet engine turned on which is what this thing is here it's basically it's it's about the physical engine they it's it's, it's, it's basically it's 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 bullet physics library to 2.75 for those who are familiar with that stuff but it doesn't work um, well I'll take a give you a quick lesson on uh, uh, the way the w way collision works over here you see these little square little boxes right here those are the uh, objects which move by gravity and which are impacted by other objects banging into it. Unfortunately, these here are the things that hit those objects and cause it to move. Not all of these will work when you do posing. It doesn't care. It'll say, oh, I'm supposed to be there. So it'll do nothing. So I can go down here and go right into a, into into a colliding object and this should move normally but it will not because it thinks it's supposed to be there because I put it there so I gotta go let's go in here and turn this off so we can see I'm gonna go over to the left I'm gonna grab. So now, you know, now I'm gonna turn this and a good angle, and then I'm gonna turn around, and I'm just gonna turn around and say, "Okay, that is cool. I like it there." Uh, now I'm going to grab this and I'm gonna bring it over here, and then uh, now some of the models and I'll bring up this again ha some ha some have little joints built into here like I call them a little twisting joints you know normally when you have an arm you take your arm out and you rotate it you look at it and you notice that your arm moves not just your wrist otherwise our circulation to our skin would cut off and our arm would die uh, but here all we have to our benefit is these little points and so when we want to rotate say I want to rotate this arm so so it behaves naturally what I'll do to rotate it 
is I'll bring the rotating tool that you see here to where this is pretty much lined up with it. And now I can rotate this thing a little bit and the arm looks a little more natural. Now I'll go over here and I'll work on the wrist. Same thing with the wrist. You know, I want to get in line with the wrist like I'm staring down at the at the arm straight on and I'll turn the wrist just a little bit because the wrist doesn't really turn all that much when you look at it. When you look at it from the thing, does your wrist turn? No. It turns very little. You know, take your hand, hold your you know, hold, 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 hold the end of your arm, try to move your wrist around like you could a model. No, you do it. It's a combination of what you do here and what you do here. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to go in here and uh, so I can line it up to where I want to turn it and I'm going to oh, grab it and bring it down just a little bit and we'll see how it goes. Well it's not too bad. I'm going to, for the purpose of this video, I think this will work. You want to cut, probably want to go in here and tweak it a little by going into the shoulder of the arm and saying, well, I want to bring fit bring it out a little bit here and to go to the elbow and say I want to bring it a little here and see how's it landing well it's not landing on the, uh, on the thing now it's landing a little too much bring it over here and there you have it. And the reason why I'm putting this, uh, aiming this this way it is, is because uh, normally when you see a person wave, you don't see the other arm looking like this. You see it looking kind of droop, kind of out of the way. And um, gosh, you know, I'm not happy with the hand the way it looks, but I'm not going to go through the sweat of. Uh, picking the hand, you know, picking the joints in the hand and putting it at a grip. I'm going to go in and, and and this basically shows you, you know, one of the things you want to do when you um, get familiar with this model is, uh, get this, of this uh, Mika Mika dance tool is uh, you want to generate pose files. Pose files is basically you select certain items that are posed a certain way you save them off and then what you do is you load them up and those items uh, that, that pose from those I for those items will pop in and give you what you want real quick so you don't have to do the same thing over and over and over again and that's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go load pose data um, Unfortunately, these are written in Japanese. They didn't fix these yet. But, lucky me, I got a good idea of what I want to use. I think, I, I think it's this one here. I could be wrong. You know, gibberish, Japanese turns as gibberish is a crapshoot. So, <laughs> got to give it a shot. Ah, I think this was right. Yep. I know I was right. The only thing I don't like is now her fingers are poking into her into her her uh, uh, skirt. I think I'm going to fix that. Select elbow, rotate, just a little bit. Let's see. I'm um, gonna get it about right here. So it's kind of like lined where I want it to turn it. Bring it up just a little bit. Go down to the wrist. Turn the wrist a little upwards. Yeah, I should have done that first. 
Let me go back to the uh, left elbow and bring it down. Oops. So the only thing I don't like about this ro um, rotate tool is you really got you got to line the camera. Uh, you know, you know, the, the you know turning it using this green align you know, rotate you know, function in Y. It's pretty much in relation to the camera plane. It is not related to the world plane. Uh, why? I don't know. I didn't write this, but uh, I can live with it. Okay. That I'm pretty happy with. Okay. Um, fine. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get I'm going to show you a little trick that you're going to like. I'm going to like it because you realize when you do this that you don't have to hassle with you know doing with one with one arm you know, with 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 the other arm what you originally had to do with the first arm and granted this is probably going to make her look a little you know darky in the beginning i guess probably the first thing i should do is i should go to the fingers i should select all her fingers uh, you know, this timeline is really great. One of the, one of the nice things about the timeline is you can you got this little drag tool, and you can go down there and you can select all the fingers. And this is the ideal thing to do when you uh, want to set things. So you got to everything in this tool for a particular point in time and space for a channel. You have to register it. That means that you put it into memory. This is what I want. Uh, uh, this is I want it, the way I want it to behave for this moment of time. And uh, you could do that by going here and you select this. And then down here is a thing called the register button. You go register. And now those fingers will not move until I direct them otherwise. Same thing with the arms. I can go in here and I'm going to grab the arm all the way down to the wrist. And I'm going to go over here and hit register. And now that's set. And no matter how much I move, oops. Oh well, I missed something. <laughs> what did I miss? Oh well. See, this is why you have to be sure and register things. Okay. Bringing it down. And you could also do this register. Here, register elbow. I'll go down to the wrist, wrist register. And that looks pretty good, except for the hands. So make sure that's registered. Let's go to the hand. Get, load the hands. I suppose data open yes. and then I'm just gonna go in here and just say register all those which it did now oops
Uh, sometimes registering registers don't quite take. Register. Ah, uh, nothing moves. Okay, we're cool. <laughs> yeah, just a little lesson there, and basically, be sure to register all your movements for your at a particular timeline. Okay, moving right along. Now, like I said, I got this arm sitting over here. I moved this arm. Uh, I want this arm to mimic mimic that. What do I do? Well, I go into here and I, you know, I'm gonna get. We're gonna get into a little better understanding of the timeline. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go in here and let's see. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna select the shoulders and wrist for the left arm just that part then I'm gonna hit well you know what I'm just gonna keep that the way it is for the moment and save the rest for last and I'm gonna hit copy now when I hit copy two things pop up one is called paste in reverse and if you go off to you like right over here and do a paste it will repeat whatever you cut whatever you highlighted here it'll put it here and that really doesn't function for any you know, for, well you know it's sometimes great if you make a movement you want to go back to, back to a certain spot you know that's useful but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to zero zero and instead I'm going to hit the thing that says reverse and when I hit reverse and I hope this works because I've worked this in a Judd uh, when I hit reverse that happens and it moved everything except for the hand that's because I don't want the hand to move right now the fingers in the hand to move right now I want to keep that static but that is going to be the initial stance for that that I want to keep and I'm going to try to hit register just to be sure I'm going to double click on that and hopefully yay it stays and we're set so now we got the initial pose for Miko for block one and this is the way I want her to look when you first see her and we can make, keep her static like this for like 15 to 20 frames you know basically these by the way these are frames and uh, every you run on average of 30 frames a second so if you want one second of video 30 frames here's right here is 30 so that's one second but we're going to go in into 15 here and one of the things I want to do is I want to go over to the right arm now uh, and this is the elements here and I'll just bring that up so you can see that and I'm going to go over here I'm going to raise this up just a little bit and that will sit by there and I'm going to go and register her. So you get in the habit of registering. Because <laughs> if you don't, you get funny things happen. So now, now we've got the motion where one part of our arm is moving up. The next thing I want to do is go to her elbow and I want to raise, do just the elbow. So it's back up to, to there, and um, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to start. Let's see, this isn't exactly what I want. So I want it to be like so. Oh, and one other thing, you could also hit reset, 
and it resets it to its default setting and I probably could have done that with the fingers and kept that because but I'm gonna go back I'm gonna bend those fingers I'm gonna copy these and put them over here at one position but uh, uh, so and that was the reset button and you want to be careful using that because you can lose your whole set of work if you're not careful uh, using the reset button because I think it does register it so I'm gonna go over here and let's see what's the best way to do this I want it up and uh, I'm gonna go reset that again and I'm gonna go to the back to the arm and I want to rotate go over here I want to rotate the arm just a little bit like so and then I'm going to go over to the elbow and I want to ro rotate the elbow just a little bit like so so now her hand appears to be in the right position to wave at you so but now we got to start a wave and initiate a wave and want to you know didn't you you know you don't want to start a wave like that unless you want to do a big wave you want to start it as a little wave like right there and got set like that and i don't recall and i know i made a big huge boo boo right off the bat i'm going to have to go back and fix that i got to register this so now that is set so that's saved but I better go back and oh it did it did save the arm I think oh, let's make sure I'm gonna select the arm just to be sure I'm just gonna hit register and hopefully yay it didn't move so we're pretty much set in far as that is concerned the only other thing I want to do is I want to go here and even though there is I want to go to the shoulder and I just want to give that shoulder just a little twerk like so because the shoulder blade actually moves a little bit when you raise your arm, if you notice. And that is pretty much pretty good right there. Except I don't like the way this looks. I'm going to bend that back down a little bit. See if I can fix that. Why is that strange? Well, I register that so we have that taken care of elbow ah that looks better register and now I'm gonna do another one and it's gonna be like this and that will be our wave so we're well within our way of well in our way to do that, um, but I want to do something else to, first. Uh, you see these fingers? They're not exactly in a wave position. So one of the things I want to do is I want to kind of zoom in on the fingers and I'll go over there and hit my center mouse button. So I move into place and zoom in again. And just to the point over there and then I'm gonna go back to my timeline and I guess I could do it with this this and it wouldn't be too bad but I prefer to do it the timeline but I'll be I'll be cool and I'll do it this way just uh, just to please you guys and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna bring this in a little bit just like that and then I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna just hit this finger over here and I want to move the base of the finger over just a little bit so it looks like it's hitting the other one 
just barely. And I'm going to register that while I'm thinking about it and go back and hit this, this bone, and make sure I register that as well. So, oh yeah, thing to remember about bones. And I may have one over here. You see this green bone over here? I may have not registered that. So I'm going to go over and click register. Yep. We both learned a lesson today. <laughs> Be sure to look for green bones. Those are the ones you didn't register. We'll rotate. Rotate this. So it goes into here and register that and then we'll select the pinky rotate that also and now it looks like a very smart salute or oh register or Miko is about to do a proper wave. And from the angle that we're going to have her, that's going to look just fine. And go to the front. Okay. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to go ahead and pick these things here and just be sure I'm going to hit register, register, register. <laughs> because I'm paranoid. And then I'm going to go over and we're going to go over to the 30 mark. Well, let's see what we got so far. Let's see what... Yeah. Uh, we can actually see it. And this is what we have. And granted it looked a little better in lat, but I can live with this. Now I'm going to go back. There's one more thing I want to do. And it's just because I don't like her fingers looking like this. I'm going to grab all the fingers on the left hand, like so. For frame zero, do a copy. And then I'm going to do a reverse. Boom. And then register. And that should be cool. Yeah. The only thing is some thumbs got modified and we'll have to fix that uh, the joys of live TV ooh how don't we do this I'm going to go reset reset Select the bones. Mm hmm. Set. Oh, I want to do a group select. I guess we'll have to redo these. And select these. There we go. I'm going to re 
reset them. Bingo. And then I'll have to fix that again. You know, rigging a model is never fun. <laughs> Rigging a model can be an art all into its own. <clears throat> I don't want to mess with that finger. Leave the middle of the finger alone. Just bash everything in here. Including the little finger and we'll go over here and go select and hopefully uh uh it's not registering. Register 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 Register, 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 and register. Probably what I should have done is I should have just picked all these bones. I'll do that. I can hold the shift key. That's what I'm doing. And picking all the bones and go register the bones and yay they've all turned to blue when they get when they're green they haven't been registered when they're blue they're set so right now I'll go f back to front and we'll do a play and I'll take this slow so take the select thing off and go back to here and everything is exactly the way I want it so no I am you know, the next step will be very very easy compared to what we had just done uh, doing this though you know gave you an education though of how we can select and manipulate the timeline. Now I'm going to go and manipulate the timeline even further. I'm going to go over to here and we have a hand at 15, at frame 15, uh, that's out here ready to wave. And now I'm going to go over here with frame 30 and I'm going to select the, the right elbow right there and you can see it's selected when you go into the selection uh, mode and go here and go rotate the rotate goes over here and I'm gonna move this like so I say that's about yeah it's about right and register that bump now what I'm gonna do next well I'll show you I'm going to go over and you see these two spots here. This is the bone at one position, like that. The next bone is at this position, like that, at 30. So I wanted to go like this. Next moments from this character will be just me going up and down. This this goes back to the, you know, something similar to the jumping routine, except now you know basically about all this other stuff that the other two roll that just shows you how the character jumps uh, you know a lot more now including the fact that I can make some mistakes not registering my bones I like to have a dollar for every time I said register in this video <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna copy these two bones here because basically they mimic the two positions that I want this arm to move and I'm gonna hit copy and then I'm going to go over here to 
over here to uh, frame. Let's see, one, one, two, three, four, frame fifty, I think, or was it? So one, two, three, one, two, three. Actually, forty-five. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit paste. And you can see that she, her arm moved and I go over here to 60 and the arm's back up here. So I'm going to go here, go one, two, three. And I hit over here, bring up this timeline. Oops, I think I. Went a little too far than I expected to. One, two, three. Let me make sure I got this right. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Seventy-five. And then I'm gonna hit paste again. And then I'll go so on and so on and so forth until I go one, two, three. And you know this is getting kind of getting kind of dull. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to where let's say you know that's that's not, that won't work uh, that will work I think yeah that will work I'm going to copy from there I'm going to do a I think I'm going to do a select from here to to there and there's two ways of doing this and I probably should have demonstrated uh, uh, you know just by going I can go like this and, and select it and do a copy and paste and do, do and, and, and do bigger uh, bigger copies move along the timeline because at this point I got Two motion, basically her arm moving left to right and right to left and so on and so forth. So I could I, 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 I could I could select this, do copy, and then go up to here and go one, two, two. Well, I really can't, can I? Well, you know, that's gonna be a drag. It's forty-five. And so I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to say from 45 over to 90 which is right here frame 90 I'm going to range select so now I just selected that I just copied it it's copied into memory. So I can go one, two, three, and the next one's going to be here. And I'm just going to go paste. And now I pasted all the ones that I had all the way up to possibly here, 50. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, right here. And then I'm going to go paste again. And this way I can get repetitive motions done very quickly. And I'm already at three at two ten. Well uh let's do one more. One, two, three. Timeline right here. Okay. Put it there. Yeah. I'll do one more paste. And I'm very, very happy with that. And let's go and do a replay, see what we got. Yeah. Except for some reason, she's stopping at that point. And I'm not too sure why. So I'm going to go here at, see, the last frame is 270, I believe. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go down here to the play. And the play has some of the same type of deal that you have over here. I'm going to force it to start from 0 
to whatever the end of the program. And you have to do this whenever you do a replay. If I'd be on a certain point with Miko Miko Dance. I'm not too sure why. But I'm going to put it right at 270. And when you go to play now, she'll sit there and she'll wave her fr hand for 270 frames and stop. And <laughs> couldn't time that better. And um, you could play play with that and that's basically what we want. So you say to yourself, okay, We've done the video. We, we demonstrated we are waving her hands. Now, oh, great. We're done. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite at all. There's one more thing we want to do. And that is we want to save all this stuff. We want to save the motions so when we bring the character up again, or bring another character for that matter, uh, we can use this motion file over and over and over again and we could pack we could bring it in tear it apart put it into uh, little motion captures and utilize it throughout the project in different areas so uh, you think okay I'll go over here hit this hit save as and save it as a as a project not so fast. Uh, anything that is say any motion that is saved uh, is select. You could slay save selected motions, or you could save the whole thing. But if you save the whole thing, you have to select everything, and that is where range select shines. Is it absolutely essential? In fact, you go over to here and go to. Seven zero in one window down here at the timeline, and then you go to zero, and then you go and you hit select, and it has selected every all these points you see over here have been selected. Now you can save this project, save as, and I'm just going to call it. K-E-O underbar waves and then hit save and here nice little click and that tells you that it's saved oh that was the PM I did the wrong f I had the wrong file ah sorry folks save motion you want to save them hit the motion and I'm just going to do the same thing as I in fact I've done it a couple of things back here at the demo M M E I K O underbar waves and we'll save it as a V M D file and there you go now why do I do this you may ask well let's say I go off and I do this God forbid and now I just killed the program and I'm gonna have to bring it up again okay so we'll bring it up there's a program where's our Miko where's sure pose it's gone oh well all that work gone to waste no Let's select the Miko character again there she is and go over here and since we got her up you select the motion data go into I guess no motion 
Ocean. Miko Waves is one we just saved. And there, sh there it is. It's all set. All we have to do is hit play. And she's waving at you. So I hope this is some you know lesson to you. I try to keep this as simple as I possibly could, but you know, unfortunately it's carried on for about an hour. And uh that's about the length of the other one. But hopefully this time around uh this video has a little more substance to it. And you learned a little more. Um uh, hopefully by my mistakes. Well, this is David Glenn. This is the Miko Miko tutorial number one. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials where I'll show you how to deal with things like gravity, uh, facial expressions, get her to lip sync, uh, and various other things along the way. Hopefully also do the connect stuff. And Everybody wants me to do the special effects. Well, there's a special effects built in to Mika Mika Dance. You know, some people use it, some people don't. But uh, you know, they tell me you got to show that. Um, so, until next time, it's David Glenn. Have fun.